Chilla, what do you got? So, so, so if you open up the first link and it's, it's pretty much just a JPEG right from TiVo's site. Um, it shows you the typical TiVo DVR mem- menu. Okay, this seems, um, this seems and, familiar. And this is, so what TiVo has done is they've started to, to roll out skip technology to their older DVRs. So they pretty much, I would say, about every two years, TiVo comes out with a new DVR, all new features, sometimes and, and a lot of times a new form factor, shrinking it, uh, making it look cooler, etc. cetera. Um, what they did with this is they started the, the bolt got the skip feature and now it's rolling out to all the older DVRs. So you can see here right next to the shows, you can see how it has the green skip logo. Right. What that means is when I play that back, if you go to the second link, the moment that I hit a commercial, I get a little prompt in the upper this left is, hand corner that wait, says wait, first press of all, D. First press of- Go this, ahead. this is definitely a Viagra commercial from the looks of the picture. <laughs> it's like the wanna... only good screen capture I could find online, and it was the first one. I was, I was, I was racing to grab or I'm, find a screen uh, capture. I, I apologize. I just had to point that out here, but <laughs> it just it looks so happy. Um, Studio B also brought to you by Viagra. Mm, mm. <laughs> but what it does is, as soon as you, the moment that a commercial starts playing on your on your dvr show that message comes up in the upper left hand corner hmm. and it's press d to skip you literally press d on your remote and it immediately takes you to the second that the show came back from commercial break hmm. so instead of actually even so typically what we were doing was you'd, you'd start watching your show and when you got to a commercial you'd double tap fast forward so you got the second fastest fast forward and it would play and then when the show came back you'd hurry up and hit play and TiVo actually started doing a really good job of figuring out the average person's reaction to play hit play during a fast forward segment and it would actually skip back to where it thought you really meant to hit play so you didn't clip the first few seconds of voice or whatever on a, on a, after a commercial break. No, I don't even have to do that. Commercial starts there and I hit D boom, TV shows back. Not like it's, I can't even explain to you how amazing it is. A and B, if they don't have the skip information for the TV show that you're watching, it's like, really, I have to fast forward through the commercials. Like it's 2015 like, aren't we in the new age like this? It's just it's just phenomenal. And I have yet to see it clip anything off or I have to watch like the last three seconds of a commercial, um, things like that. And the one thing I will say about it is I do find myself saying, hmm, I wonder what commercials I'm missing. Sometimes we all like to see the new Apple commercial or Microsoft commercial or, or something along those lines from a technology perspective. Um, but all in all, I would say this is pretty amazing technology and yet another thing that TiVo has done to, to move forward, move the ball forward um, in the DVR race. And it'll get more interesting as I think the, I guess the FCC wants to try to deregulate or decouple the DVRs from the, from the services. That's awesome. Um, and, 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 you know, I we I've had a DVR from the cable company, right? And mm-hmm. uh, and 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 from what I understand, like you, sometimes they even like kind of stop that. So does TiVo have that where it stops you from from skipping? No, no, they don't. It, like that's that's a a built in Comcast feature, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. So, well, and to, don't forget. To, so most of the Comcast DVRs and even the Verizon DVRs are made by Scientific Atlanta, or they're made by Motorola, um, and they get the different firmwares from the, the Comcast and whatnot overlaid on top of them. TiVo, you get, you go, you can go to Best Buy and pick up a TiVo, right? Right. And you can use it with an over the air antenna, or you can call your cable company and have them send you a decoder card to shove in the back of it. And all the decoder card does is handle the decryption of the encrypted TV channels coming across the wire. Okay. 
So I have all of TiVo's services. The, uh, now I do lose things like I don't have any of the on-demand stuff that that um, Verizon or Comcast would offer, but I also don't have to pay for DVR rental. Right, right. Um, that's awesome. Uh, it, well, it's good to see it, but the TiVo's kind of still keeping relevant here mm-hmm. um, in this day and age. But uh, yeah, and they also have all the apps, right? They have, you know, like you can throw Hulu in this or Netflix to have kind of more uh, Hulu, complete. Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, HBO. Um, H- uh, they don't have HBO to go yet, okay. um, but we do have like Pandora and a couple even music ones. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so check out the new TiVo. So, so, so this, this is rolling out the old TiVos. Like, do we know how far back? Um, I want to say it goes back, I think four or six years to the, uh, I can't even remember what they're called. We actually have one in Christopher's room. We're stuck in there for prolonged periods of time. Anyway, it's, it's, it's three revisions back. So it's probably six years back. Awesome. From a technology perspective. Awesome. Go check it out. Um, and consider that TiVo. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not something that I consider, I think, like, I don't think it would be worthwhile for me with over the air. Um, unless potentially like I could see, like if, if I had the right configuration of, of programs that I watch that, um, you know, are over the air, I'd probably be good mm-hmm. to go. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's worthwhile for me to pick that, pick up something like this for, for, for that. But plus, I like some of the originals as well on Hulu, and I like being part of that. So, and 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 I don't even have to think about the commercials. Um, and is there still a fee for TiVo? Yeah, I think it's about twelve dollars a month. Oh, so exactly what I play for Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, that's awesome. 